Welcome, everybody, to another edition of How Cool Is That? Today, I have Dr. Jamie Lenahan here, and we're going to talk about the DEI syllabus review tool. I'm going to go into this to show you I've got some anxiety for it, and Dr. Lenahan is going to show us how to eliminate that anxiety. Take a minute once again, Jamie, and introduce yourself and tell us about your role. Um, so I am an associate professor of political science, and this semester I'm doing some projects for CEDL, and one of those projects is helping to raise awareness of the syllabus review tool and doing a little bit of professional development surrounding the tool. So I will say that I did it myself for the first time, uh, right before the semester started, and I also had anxiety. I didn't know where it even live. But once I did it, I found that it gave me a little bit of a different lens to think about my syllabus and my Start Here module and some of my course material. And it really didn't take as much time as I thought it would be. And it wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. I think that it's a great opportunity for everyone to just be able to look at their teaching through from a different perspective and just take that first step because um, it's it's not intended to be a huge undertaking all at once. Right. So let's do this. I'm going to be a test case. And Dr. Linehan is going to walk me through how to do it. And so I, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. This is the Germana web. First of all, where is this tool? So this tool lives on faculty front. Which I have faculty front page bookmarked up here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Isn't faculty front page awesome? It's very helpful. So here's faculty front page. Now where do I go? Just scroll down and keep scrolling. And there you go, Germana syllabus root there. Okay. So what you'll find um, as you scroll down is that there are, there's different things in in the, the tool. And the, the tool is basically a checklist. Um, and if you click on syllabus review tool blank form, it will uh, take you to that checklist. And then there are some explanations in the little modules on the side about the different components and, and there are some resources. So this tool, there was a group that worked this summer to create it based on um, the Center for Urban Education's. Uh, resources and there's four sections. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. I've downloaded the form and I'm going to save it into onto my computer. Tell me what else I need to do here now. So what I did and I, you know, everyone is going to maybe have a different way, a different approach. I I went through the the list. So I went through the introduction, like I clicked on the introduction and went through that um, where it, it sort of just explains what we're doing here, like what the purpose of the tool is. And it talks a little bit about the syllabus and the idea of the syllabus and thinking about, you know, your syllabus as how it introduces the students to the class, you know, basically, you know, why, why we want to have the syllabus be a document where students can feel that they're reflected in it. Hopefully the students review the syllabus and when they do, this is their first one of their first entrees into the course and interaction with us, the faculty. So this is our first major chance to interact with them, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to hit continue. And so if you kind of just go, like I just sort of went through and I, I, I thought that these categories here, demystifying, validating, welcoming, and creating a partnership, representing and deconstructing, were really helpful in thinking about how you go about structuring your class and your syllabus. And I personally found that demystifying was something that there, there's a lot that can be done to demystify things in a syllabus. And so like I I realized that there's some language in the syllabus that you might not, if you're new to college, you might not understand what we're talking about. So as I'm looking through these things, these are giving me good building blocks on how on why this is important. So it goes through and it it kind of, you know, explains the different aspects of these of these topics. And then there are examples in the under under tools, the tool and examples, there are some examples. We have several faculty members that contributed examples of the work that they did after using the tool. Um, and I found those really helpful. So where, so I'm going to keep scrolling. So I'm going to keep 
proving syllabi tends. Okay, so this is giving me some good back. I can read through. So syllabus, so the blank form I've already I've already downloaded. And then here are the examples that you referred to. Yeah. So Grace Lucci has some really helpful examples. And she teaches math. She teaches math. And I really found her examples very helpful when I was thinking about what to how to fill out the checklist. I had a little bit of trouble getting started. I wasn't quite sure how to think about comments, like what kind of comments to put in. And looking at Grace's checklist really helped me get started with my own. So it was very generous of Grace to share this with all of us. Okay, so these are the notes that she filled in all of the... So help me, when this says comments, slide 17, I, so I'm confused on how to interpret or read this then. So she also has a slideshow that is... I see right below there. And I think in that slide, so she shows examples of, of those, those items. So you really have a good resource there in terms of looking at examples from her resources. Oh, here's her slideshow. Okay, very good. I see. So this is where she put in the comments. So this is from, this, this is, is, I think from Corey, Corey McLaughlin. And this is, the syllabus just and it looks like you know the evaluation of everything actually written in so this is so he did it differently so if i understand it i understand that these examples these are examples different ways that they completed this so they completed yeah. the checklist but their their documentation that goes with it is very different okay that's very good so then here's demystifying so then this goes to other things, reasons or, or opportunities for students to do. So then it goes, we go into welcoming. Is this making somebody feel welcome as they come into the class? Are we creating a partnership? It gives an explanation of why these things are important. So I will go back, certainly, to prepare this. So this gives me a kind of question and answer here. You see, these are frequently asked questions, okay? So then, so now what, now what happens, Jamie? So now that you've gone through all of that, you can pick one course okay. and you can actually sit there with your syllabus and go through your syllabus with the checklist. And one of the things that's really nice about this is that it does count towards our PD hours um, for teaching and DEI. And that if this is not, we don't have to send our checklist to anyone. No one is going to be evaluating us on this or judging us or grading on grading us. Like your checklist, your results are yours and you're just using them to improve. So okay. it's not punitive. It's not, nobody's going to get in trouble. It's just for your own improvement for your class. Right. All right. So I have downloaded the checklist. Here's what I would like to do at this point, Jamie. So let's, I'm, and I need, and I realize that I need to go back and read through that in more detail. But once I do that, what I'd like to have you do is can, I'd like to pull up one of my syllabi mm -hmm. and, and, and have you help me start to go through it. Are you okay? okay? Let's do it. 